How's it going, everybody? Crazy here. I'm back again with another reaction. Uh, so I have to apologize right off the rip because there have been a lot of people that have requested this band for me to react to. Another one of the J-Rock bands or J-Pop, J-Rock, what have you. Uh, Gakarik or Gakarik Spin. I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, but I kept on pushing it over, you know, just because, you know, popularity wise with like Band Made, Fate Gear, uh, Love Bites, Baby Metal, you know, a lot of those bands really do get a lot of views uh, on this channel. So like Spin ended up being kind of overpassed. And I remembered uh, about them uh, because I was on Instagram and I ended up following other people from like Band Made and shit and Kakarik Spin was actually a part of the recommendation. So I followed them, forgot about it. And then I just remember today that I followed them. So I was like, I think I should just at least do it justice to do a reaction. So I'm going to react to uh, their music video replica. And uh, let's see how it goes. That's cool. Oh, that's nice. Like a little drawing and shit. Oh, it's a drawing of her. Whoever that is, I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that that's the lead singer. And it's like a little drawing of her. And uh, I don't know where to go from here. I definitely was not uh, paying attention to the lyrics, though. So I should probably focus a little bit on the lyrics. Can you tell me who you are? Your name, occupation, income, books. It's like a package. Okay. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little paper mache her. Ooh. Damn, that bass, though. Ooh. Oh, so I, I'm I'm kind of like looking at some of the lyrics and shit. As many memories you want to erase, crushed up cans of beer. So what this says to me already i'm 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 already going through interpretation mode here um what that's saying to me is like okay somebody was with her broke up with her kind of trying to drown the sorrows uh from the breakup and um you know trying to erase the memories of them by you know by an addiction of some sort something that a lot of people i feel like could relate <laughs> Today is replica number five. What am I supposed to? Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird just reading the lyrics and stuff, and then kind of like focusing in and out of the little paper mache um animation here I, I i feel like i'm kind of in the right vein here where it's like <clears throat> it's like okay now this girl doesn't even know who the hell she is or what she's supposed to be you know that kind of shit moody and manipulative smile to create allies wait for it you're actually lonely right you disappeared miss dreamer so it's, and, and this is, this is interesting because the, I, I, I like some of the things that I've understood with the form of psychology, um, like, let's just say like, uh, let's, let's use the anxious avoidant dynamic, if you will, if you've never heard of this, basically like one person in a relationship is anxious and the other one is an avoidant where the anxious person wants to know more about their significant other. And the avoidant is the type of person who wants to stay reserved. And because of that reservation, they pull away from their significant other, the anxious, and that causes the anxious person to reach out and be like, love me, damn it. And the more they reach out, the more the anxious reaches out, the more the avoidant pulls away. And the more that the avoidant pulls away, the more the anxious reaches out. And most of the time, this ends up culminating in a breakup, usually led by the avoidant. And the avoidant breaks up 
because I'm teaching you psychology here. Um, the avoidant normally breaks up because they put that other, they put each other on a pedestal, but the avoidant is like, I'm not good enough for them. I can't give them what they want, blah, 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 blah. So they break up and then they fucking run off rebound relationship after rebound relationship after rebound relationship, trying to, you know, also getting into other karmic situations like drugs and alcohol to try to erase the pain of breaking up because they don't know what to feel. So, or the feelings that they have scares the shit out of them or gives them actual literal physical pain. So they try to numb the pain with drugs and alcohol and partying and sex and all this other stuff. Um, and, and usually with that type of person, the, the dismissive avoidant tends to put on a mask and basically show the world that, oh, we're, f I'm fine. Everything's a, everything's good. Life is a party. YOLO, that kind of shit. Right. But they're actually internally when they're by themselves, they're beating themselves up. They hate themselves. Uh, they, they feel a lot of regret and grief and they cry themselves at, you know, to sleep at night. They're lonely. The one thing that they crave the most, they can't necessarily have because it scares the shit out of them. You know, they want love, but they are scared of it. And so it's a, it's a conundrum with them. Like they try to surround themselves with things that artificially make them feel good. But at the end of the day, they are lonelier than they were when they were in, than when they were in a relationship with that person. You're actually lonely, right? You disappeared, Miss Dreamer. They also become introverted. So there's there's a little there's a little thing for you there. Yeah, and they also lose sight of who they are. You know, they don't know who the hell that they actually are. Like some some of them actually kind of just like wake up and realize that the, that the portrayal of who they were showing themselves to be is not who they are, even though for a while they thought that's who they were. But it's like, what am I supposed to become if I lose sight of who I am? Like, I don't know who I am. That's the dismissive avoidant. It doesn't have to be me, I know that. Wow. Just like running right off the plateau and face planting. Wow. See, we we all may never know what it is to be ourselves. And some of some people are like that. Like I'm trying to fill a hole, like I'm trying to get hooked. This is Oh wow, this sounds dope. Did I not call that? Wearing a mask, who's the real one? This is about this is what that is about. What I had all, everything that I had explained before, that's what this song is about. The anxious avoidant dynamic. And one person is chasing, the other person is running. It's usually the dismissive avoidant who is the runner. And they're the ones that are wearing a mask, faking themselves in order to fucking please everybody else but themselves. Themselves, on the other hand, wearing the mask, they know who they are deep down inside. It's amazing what you can learn when you read the book Attached. It's weird, though, because like this is one of those things where I was just like, when I went on their fucking YouTube channel to check out the song, and, and it's like that with half of these fucking J bands that I've been listening to over the last couple of months, and I'm just picking, I pick okay, this, this is good. This is fine. And shit like that. And I know I've made this rant before on previous videos, but like every, almost like so many of these songs that I have actually been just like picking on a whim ends up speaking out to me about this IRL situation that I've been dealing with for the last seven months. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's weird like this. And it, it's like, I'm not even trying to do this. Like, and I swear to God, like every, every, like every video that I'm watch, I don't pre-screen anything. 
I ev I ad lib everything and everything that I say in these videos comes straight from the fucking heart, you know, because like this is legit the first time that I've actually seen this video. So back to this. I'm so sick of these replica people. Nice job. I like the sound of this song. Though. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's beautiful. I feel sorry for you. And what do you want me to say? Whenever you turn the favor, thank you. Okay, hold on a second. I, I was trying to read that caption, so give me a second. Your body may be next to me, but your heart is above. Am I wrong? Uh, yeah, like, I, I, I feel that. I feel that. I'm sorry, I'm a replica of how I feel today. Every word cuts like a knife. And, you know, like, some... You know, like, I, I believe that the people that I was talking about before, people who go through that that dismissive avoidant feel, you know, um, it's like that for them, where I'm a replica of how I feel today. Um, every word cuts like a knife. What would tomorrow me think? I can't get enough of that bass. Yes. Oh, here we go. You're just acting. Ooh. I'd be <laughs> Man, I gotta tell you, like, this song in and of itself is so fucking hitting close to home for me. And aside from that, listen, you know, trying to listen to the music while watching the video and reading the lyrics and everything, you know, it's a lot of information that I have to contain, you know, that I have to retain in, in getting all of this. But I'm focused so much on the lyrics and the sound of the music and shit, I'm barely paying attention to the fucking music video in and of itself. And you know how it is with me if you've been watching me uh, for a while. You know, it's like I, I tend to bounce back and forth between those three key elements when it concerns music videos and shit. But like the the lyrics are really hitting home for me, even if it might be a loose translation. It's still kind of hitting home for me. Uh, I do like, uh, you know, I, I do like seeing the paper mache animation and everything. That's entertaining. And the band itself is, act, you know, when it's showing the band, like the band is really getting into this song with all due understanding. You know, this is actually a pretty good fucking song. It's very peppy. Um, and and it sounds it sounds pretty crisp. I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm not I'm not knocking the song at all. It's actually pretty tasty. Yes. <laughs> Accordion, trumpet, candies, first. Wow, that's funny. Okay, hold on a second, hold on a second. I have to rewind. One step above shameful, shameful it's much better than nothing. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. There's a line... Okay, yeah, this one and that one, they're all me. I'm not a fake. So basically what it is is like, okay, you're showing element, you know, like a, this person shows different elements of themselves depending on the person or the crowd that they're around, you know. But at the end of the day, it's all extensions of themselves. What they're willing to uh, portray themselves as 
depending on the person, place, and situations. You know, but at the end of the day, they know who they really are. It's all of them into one. And it's just with, you know, like I said, with person, different persons, places, and situations or groups of people, you know, they portray themselves to be a, an extension of themselves and they focus more on one element of themselves and kind of just like dial it up. I think that's normal though. Cause I do that myself. Use them separately, trying not to hurt yourself or anyone else. Yeah, it's kind of like what I said. You know, it's like, that's people pleasing, actually. Boy, this is really saying something about myself now, isn't it? <laughs> this is my therapy session. <laughs> but, you know, like, because I just said, like, I've done that before, where it's like, I create, uh, not, not create, but I just take an extension of a part of myself and depending on the person or the group that I'm around or the situation that I'm in or, you know, or whatever, depending on the place even determines what element of myself I'm going to portray myself as, because the one thing that I'm really worried about is upsetting people. I hate making other people angry. And so I try to do that in order to try to make sure that I don't upset people. And I think that I'm not the only person in the world that actually does this type of thing. You know, it's kind of like a chameleon effect. You know, I always called it a chameleon effect. But like, you know, people, you know, and, and I'll tell you this, like I'm an, I'm, I'm a fucking anxious person. Like I, I'm, I'm an anxious person in that anxious attachment style kind of thing. But avoidance do the exact same thing because they are afraid of conflict. They don't like conflict. Man, they are really fucking getting into it. I like her hairstyle. Her hair color and everything, that's so fucking bad. Yup. Yup. Okay, so the mannequin right there is basically trying to crush the numbers, and I'm believing what those numbers are supposed to represent is like a different style of that person for each day of the month, you know? So it's just like, don't try to be a, uh, like one type of person one day and not in a different person the next. Just be yourself every day, you know? So it's pointless to have these numbers. Throw them away. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. And then number six, it's, once again, at the end of it, it's a completely different person. But I actually, you know, like, I feel like that that was the message within that song, Replica. Um... And I, I, I found this to be kind of unique in a way uh, with that uh, with that fucking animation with the little paper mache doll and the mannequin and everything like that was dope. The music in and of itself was actually very entertaining to listen to. I really like that sound, um, <clears throat> you know, but like with me being a prime, uh, primarily a metal. Head, um, obviously, you can tell, though, that I listen to a lot of different stuff. And in, in the in the terms of like J rock, J pop, whatever you want to call this, um, it is good for what it is. You know, it's actually pretty enjoyable. And I could actually fuck with this. You know, with that song, with this band, I'm curious to see what other stuff that they have. You know, knowing that a lot of Japanese bands don't usually tend to focus on just one sole primary. Uh, genre or subgenre, they tend to go in different places all over the place. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to see what other stuff uh, Gakarik or Gakarik Spin is um, is uh, doing. You know, what else do they do? 
this definitely got my attention. So I'm going to have to check out more of this band. But I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you guys for being here watching this with me. If you want to watch this on your own, link is going to be in the description below. Like and share this video and subscribe to this channel. If you have not done that already, check out my merch store if you're interested in a t-shirt or a hoodie. And, uh, well, if you're, uh, if you're feeling generous, go ahead and shoot me a super thanks. I'd really appreciate it. It's not necessary, but it'd be cool. All right, I'm getting up out of here. You guys have a good one. Deuces.